Truth is usually stranger than fiction, but sadly, nowhere near as entertaining. Hi, I'm Jack Razmich with Razmich & Associates, and today we're going to talk about five ways criminal trials are not like on television. If you are a defendant in a criminal case, watching a legal-themed television drama or a movie may make you nervous about your impending trial. The good news is that Hollywood courtroom scenes bear very little resemblance to the real thing. More specifically, here are five ways that actual criminal trials differ very heavily from those on television. Number one, the criminal process is not brief. Most legal shows have to cram the entirety of the process into a one hour time slot, so it's easy to get the impression the procedure moves both smoothly and quickly. I am sorry to say that in real life, we are not able to resolve your case in 52 minutes with eight minutes left over for commercial breaks. Actual criminal procedures can take several months or even several years depending on the complexity of the case. During this time, the prosecution and defense are busy filing motions with the court, gathering and exchanging evidence in the discovery process, deposing witnesses, discussing potential plea bargains, and preparing the case for trial. The trial itself can last a week or more depending on the type of charge and how many witnesses are involved. So if you're entering this process expecting a speedy resolution outside of a plea bargain, you probably need to settle in and get ready for a long ride. Number two, the lawyers can't treat the witnesses however they want. The entertainment industry loves to show lawyers screaming in the faces of the witnesses on the stand until they confess or otherwise break into tears. In real life, lawyers cannot yell at, harass, or coerce witnesses. We aren't even allowed to physically approach witnesses without good reason or without permission from the court. If a lawyer did cross the line and begin badgering a witness, any attorney who knows what they're doing, whether they are a defense attorney or whether they are a prosecutor, is going to immediately make an objection and ask the judge to intervene and restore order. Number three, objection is more than just a word. On television shows, you'll often hear a lawyer shouting objection to protest some behavior from a witness or an opposing counsel, and the judge will immediately say overruled or sustained. In reality, the lawyer must state the specific procedural grounds for the objection, and the court has to listen to the position of both sides of that objection to determine whether or not it is a valid objection. Number four, court cases are rarely full of drama. Legal dramas include plenty of plot twists to keep the audience on the edge of their seats. Real legal cases are not so dramatic. The vast majority of these cases will take place outside of the courtroom itself, and most cases are not even making it to trial at all these days. If a case does go to trial, there are rarely stunning turnabouts. For example, don't expect the prosecutor to present a surprise witness or a surprise piece of evidence mid-trial. Both sides are required to disclose all evidence to each other before the trial during the discovery process per the procedural rules. If a significant piece of new evidence comes up during the trial itself, your criminal defense lawyer and the judge will be informed first before it is submitted to the jury. Number five, the verdict is not the end. If there is a guilty verdict, television and shows inevitably end there, showing the criminal defendant being taken to jail in handcuffs. But in real life, upon hearing the verdict, a good criminal defense attorney will already be thinking about the grounds for appealing the case and overturning the verdict. Studies have shown that something in the area of 97% of all cases filed these days are resolved by way of plea agreement rather than trial, which means that the available pool of competent and experienced trial attorneys is sadly going down. The good news is here at Razumich and Associates, we are trial attorneys. We are very experienced in handling jury trials throughout the state of Indiana. If you or a loved one has a case that you believe will be going to trial or that you really want to take to trial, we do encourage you to call us today at 317-983-5333 for your free case evaluation. Those case evaluations are free and always will be. That telephone number again, 317-983-5333, and I look forward to the opportunity to speak with you. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. If you really like it, please feel free to share it on the social media platform of your choice. Here at Razumich & Associates, we are lawyers ready to fight. The more eyes that we're in front of, the more people we're fighting for, and the more people we're fighting for, the freer we all are. If you have a question or we have a topic that you would like to see me cover in a future video, please consider putting it in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and I will look forward to seeing you at our next video.